Hello and welcome to the State of Culture. Come India Sing Janagana Mana, a musical evening in honor of India was held on Republic Day Eve at the epicenter Gurgaon. We show you clips. The Lorraine Music Academy and Lamp Trust hosted a musical evening in honor of India on Republic Day. The students from the Lorraine Music Academy, aged 5 to 17 years, treated the audience to an event that celebrated our 66th Republic Day. This event is a part of the ongoing National Patriotic Project, Come India Sing Janagana Mana, that was launched on 15th August 2013. The National Patriotic Project, Come India Sing Janagana Mana, is a clarion call to 1.27 billion Indians to stand together for one cause, the unity of India, by singing a national anthem in the correct code as laid out in the Constitution of India. Today is Republic Day Eve. Now, do you read the pledge in school? Do you know what the pledge is? But I'll just share a story with you. When I was a little boy, barely seven years old, my mother, who was a teacher, she did something for which I'm very, very grateful. She translated the national anthem, which was originally written by Rabindranath Tagore. She translated that in English, and I'm going to read out the English um, words that I read at the age of seven. And it says this, Thou art the ruler of the minds of all people, dispenser of India's destiny. Thy name rouses the hearts of Punjab, Sindh, Gujarat, Maharat, of the Dravid and Odisha and Bengal. It echoes in the hills of the Vindhyas and the Himalayas, mingles in the music of the Indian Ocean. They pray for thy blessings and sing thy praise. The saving of all people waits in thy hand. Thou dispenser of India's destiny, victory, victory. moment in my life. You know, I come from a very small family, just my dad and mom and my young sister and me, and I thought we were a very small family. And when I read the pledge, which says, all Indians are my brothers and sisters, you know, from that moment, I knew I was a part of a big family. Do you get that feeling yourself? No, I can see a smile there. You know, words have power, and my only appeal to you, my dear friends, is let those words sink in because that is reality. We are indeed brothers and sisters, okay? And we need to never forget that we are brothers and sisters. When I was asked this question after I read this, let me tell you the impact it had on me. When they asked me, to a South Indian, I look like a North Indian. To a Mumbai, I look like a Goan. To a North Indian, I look like a Goan. To the Goan, I look like a Bengali. And they would always ask me, hey, Aubrey, so where are you from? What are you? And I know the normal answer. 
And I resisted it, and I said, I am an Indian. What do we say when we are asked the same question? I hope it is that first and nothing else. Because our first identity is A, number one, we are brothers and sisters, we are part of the human race. Number two, our identity is that we belong to the nation of India. on us Indians and across the world. On the 12th of January, we celebrated 150, or was it 151st uh, birth anniversary of Swami Vivekananda, a man who influenced our nation and a man who influ influenced many uh, across the globe. Uh, he had a dream. He died at a very tender age before he turned 40 in the early 1900s. And I'm sure all his dreams were not met. Some of them are coming to reality today. I remember Rabindranath Tagore, the author of the National Anthem. He had a dream, he had a prayer. And some of it didn't come to pass in his lifetime. Mahatma Gandhi, let me just read from a passage of one of his speeches. And this is what he said, I shall work for an India in which the poorest shall feel that it is their country, in whose making they have an effective voice, an India in which there shall be no high class and low class of people. An India in which all communities shall live in perfect harmony. There can be no room in such an India for the curse of untouchability or the curse of intoxicating drinks and drugs. Women will enjoy the same right as men. We shall be at peace with all the rest of the world. This is the India of my dreams, unquote. In many ways, Mahatma Gandhi's India still remains a dream. I have a dream. And I ha I, I'm sure each one of you has a dream. You have a dream. Um, are we going to let that dream go by, pass by our lifetime? Let me just share with you, I have a hope, not just a dream. I look at the young people in this auditorium, I look at the young children and I say, I'm sure that, that dream and that hope will be fulfilled in our nation. I want to see a great nation. Well, we've gone through our history. We've fought for our freedom. 66 years that we've had our freedom. We're entering the 67th year. Where are we going? To young people, I'll say this. 66 sounds very old, right? It, it gives you a mental picture of a man with... Uh, gray hair, but actually, believe it or not, India is young. Do you believe that? India is young, and let me define that. As for the United Nations definition of young or youth, it is the age 29. And anyone who's below the age of 29 is considered youth. More than half of this country is below the age of 29. This is a generation that will make our India great. Yes, Mr.
talk about the Constitution. But before I talk about the Constitution, I'd like to invite three gentlemen up here on the stage. But Article 51A of the Constitution talks about our fundamental duties. And the very first one, the very, very first one says this, and I'm going to recite three of them through the day. It shall be the duty of every citizen of India to A, abide by the Constitution and respect its ideals and institutions, the national flag and the national anthem. On the occasion of our nation's Independence Day, 15th of August 2013, Lorraine Music Academy and the Land Trust launch the National Patriotic Project titled Come India Sing Jan Ganman. One point two seven billion Indians. One cause. Unity in diversity. One song. Fifty two seconds. Going in for a short break, stay with us. Kitni chini? Dead chamach? Nahi, merely nahi, mucha diabetes hai. Aapne apni khan paan ki adato ko niyantran me rakha hai. Ye acha hai, madhume ki rogi ki liye, ye bohot zaruri hai. Zaruri hai? Haan. Madhume ka asar, sare sharir par hota hai. Khas taur par aankho par. Isse andhe bhi ho sakte hai. Yadhi aapko diabetes hai, to drishti suraksha par avashya dhyan dhe. Samay samay par, नेत्र विशेषज्ञ से अपनी आंखों की जांच करवाएं। All that you wanted to know. All that you wanted to see. Everything related to your health is what we tell you in Healthy India. Welcome back to the State of Culture and come India sing Janagana Mana.
ہمیں صدیوں میں یہ آزادی کی رحمت پائی ہے سینکڑوں قربانیاں دے کر یہ دولت پائی ہے مسکرا کر کھائی ہے سینے پہ اپنے گولیاں ہر کٹھن راہیں گزر ہم نے یہ جنت پائی ہے That's all folks. In this episode, we will return next week same time with yet another event that occurred in the city. Till then, goodbye.